Do you miss the 90s? Technology was booming. Music was banging. Boy bands created a new species called Fangirls. And TV shows are timeless and memorable. Hey Emma, it's the year 2020. Are you still enjoying your nap? So even with all the benefits of the modern day, I can't help but feel nostalgic for the simpler times. And one way I relive those years was with gaming. This is the SNES, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, which was THE console in the 90s. Remember Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, in this platformer game, you don't even play as Mario. You remember Mortal Kombat with a K? You know, this is the peak of video game history when you learn combos and score those legendary fatalities! Yeah. Remember Final Fantasy, where one of the world's most legendary waifus came to be in a game packed with tons of tedious grinding? I don't, because I didn't own an SNES. Instead, I was playing Solitaire and Free Cell. Heck, even sometimes Microsoft Hearts. But everything changed when I discovered the internet. And just before the new millennium, we were blessed with Neopets. An online world where you can join a virtual economy, participate in gambling, and play challenging games. You know you've made it as a franchise where McDonald's wants you to be the happy little toy. Oh baby, what a time to be alive during the rise of the Neopets era. But a decade later, the popularity seemed to fade into obscurity. That is, until recently... Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, yes, yes, The magic lives on. Welcome back to Neopets. There were days where I just grinded for Neopets. I remember the days when I would chat with games like... Jolly Jugglers, Meat Pit vs. Speed Pit, and Gad Gad's game. So let's go back to see how these games hold up. With Jolly Jugglers, it's a platformer where you jump up to get to the exit gate. You blast by toggling between the purple and green cheer to defeat and pick up the associated colours. Looks like I still got it after all these years. Okay, uh, let's clear this level. Oh. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. That was just practice. Let's go again. It was just these lousy keyboard controls. So unintuitive. Platforming takes precision. Which I clearly don't have. Heh, <laughs> see. All it took was a little practice. We're almost at the end. We can make it! Wow, I suck at this game now. Maybe just one more level to redeem myself. Okay, I'm done. I'll be back to reclaim my honor. Alright, the next game is Mii Pit vs Fee Pit, a 1v1 battle game. I guess there's free moves? I don't really care as long as I can pummel my opponent. Okay, let's kick some butt. Oh crap, I only remember one of these moves. As long as this guy doesn't hit me with some special combos, I think I can last. Okay, 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 that was just practice. Crappy keyboard controls. I just can't get my awesome fighter gamer instincts out this limitation. Oh, I got a dude in the corner lock. Maybe I can cheese a victory here. I've been hitting the same button for almost a minute. Just 10 seconds to go. Oh my gosh, it worked! Okay, here's a game I really missed. It's called Gad Gad's Game, which is named after the Neo Pitch edition of Gadding One's Gads. It's essentially Tetris, but there are magical fruits that eliminate the fruit blocks. Your goal is simply to last for as long as you can. 
a little tedious in gameplay, but it's very sin and mindless. A little like... There are actually minimal controls, you just pick left and right and rotate with space. Hey, what's that rogue fruit doing? Why can't I nudge it? Okay, surely there's gotta be a better way to play these games. Like what the hey? These barbaric caveman keyboard inputs are just so uncomfortable and... Yeah! It's time to find a solution. Wow, the 90s Super Nintendo Entertainment System can upgrade us into cyborgs? Maybe I can recreate some of that foregone nostalgia by harnessing that controller. I'm using a USB gamepad modeled SNES, but you can use any modern USB controller that can be interfaced with your computer. For the next step, you'll need Joy to Key, which is a shareware that maps your controller to keyboard keys, link in the description. It comes in multiple languages. I could have gone with the English version, but I like to make my life more challenging, so I chose the Japanese. Once your controller is jacked in, the inputs should read into the program. You can test out which buttons map to which inputs with the yellow highlights. Mapping is simple by just clicking on the button and typing in the key you want to assign. Now, let's get our revenge on Jolly Jugglers. So I map the shoot button, which is space, to my right pad, and my toggle characters to my bumper buttons. Hey, not bad. So already the controls are much more intuitive and it feels more like a console game rather than a flash game. Just sniping these fools like nobody's business. I think I've really gotten back into the groove now. I'll come back for my newer points later. Time to try Meat Pit and Fee Pit. We need to revamp our controls for punch, kick and block, which will all go into my right pad. There is a drawback here, which is that you'll have to update the mapping with every new game that uses a different set of inputs. Great, now that we've keyed in all our new inputs, let's play the game. The goal this time is to land more flashing moves than before. <laughs> so, now I can do aerials pretty good now. He's got me on the ropes. This one's for all the donuts. Wait, did I just get a combo? Thanks, buddy. No, we did it. And finally, Tetris. Just need to remap a button to our rotate and... Wow, this game is kind of still slow. I think I'll just let myself end it. But wait, this controller does more than just play games. You can write documents. You can run your presentations. But I'll just be using it to play early 2000s Flash games. Thank you.